living life in the great outdoors. People are often curious about how we're adjusting to tiny living on the road, but what people really want to know is how our cat Maisie is adjusting to this new lifestyle. Maisie spent the first seven years of her life in LA's concrete jungle, a city cat through and through. Okay, she wasn't that tough, but what this really means is she was always an indoor cat, and her days were consisting of 18-hour sleep schedules and occasional supervised balcony time. So look at her now! Maisie has been a serious trooper through this past year of travel. From 100 degree days in the desert to freezing temperatures in the mountains, she has hung in there with hardly a complaint. Her least favorite part of traveling is the actual travel. The car is now public enemy number one, and if she even hears a car door open or close, she's gone in a snap. Travel days have evolved since the first trip, and we seem to have worked out a compromise. She gets the most space out of anyone in the car, she gets lots of towels and blankets, her litter box rides with us for those extra long drives, and of course, her beloved bag of greenies is always close. The closer the better. This combination gives us about six to eight hours of travel. As for life in the camper, Maisie's actually adjusted quite well. We've tried out all sorts of different ways to let Maisie have her freedom to explore while also maintaining a little peace of mind for us. We've tried a harness and a leash attached to the camper, then a harness and a leash attached to a long rope to give her more of a run, then harness and a leash on a supervised walk. That was her least favorite. And finally, now we've given up on the leash altogether and just put her harness on her when she leaves the camper and let her roam free. Maisie's a regular little Houdini and figured out how to use the leash to wiggle out of her harness backwards, so she won and no more leash. There are some amazing adventure cats out there who seem to thoroughly enjoy getting out in nature, and Glenn's convinced that Maisie will also love it, in time. I'm just going to say that I'm a little less convinced that she loves it, and I'm now certain that she's walking on our bladders at night on purpose. We've taken her on a few small hikes to warm her up to the idea and to get her used to feeling safe with us, though her face and body language says we aren't achieving either objective here. I think she tolerates it for the excessive amount of greenies she gets after each trip. Do you sense a the theme here? Maisie's world revolves around greenies, so as long as we've got a steady supply, we're all happy campers. What are you doing, Glenn? I'm taking Maisie on a hike. Yeah, this is as deep in the woods as she's ever been, hey? Yes, look yes, look at this face. Look at this face. We're She's freaked out. We are in the Waddell Basin West in Washington, near Olympia, Ooh. Washington. And she is... Well, she's hanging on. It. Yeah, she she's on. according to Glenn, she's loving it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I can't see her face, so... Uh -huh. <laughs> it's open to interpretation then, huh? Yeah. So we're coming to a bridge that crosses over a small creek. And I don't know if we're going down, but Maisie's never been that close to water. All right. So as if hiking with her wasn't enough, now Glenn wants to climb fences. She's falling, she's falling. All right, there she is, butt hanging over and everything. All right, there's the water. All right, we're going down to a creek and um, See what happens there, I guess. The cat's still there, that's good news. <laughs> hey, Mel. Maisie. That face. And that face. Meow, meow. <laughs> oh. Having fun yet? Are we having fun yet? Whew. Now this is at the living with Mason the Adventure Cat. The face of adventure right there. <laughs>
Living life in the great outdoors? Still. Like a seasoned pro. Here we've got um, this little creek here. I think it's Waddell Creek. Sweet home. Hey, Mia Mia. You glad to be back? <laughs> and this is a traumatized cat after a hike. What'd you think, Maisie? You want to do it again? If she could kill you with her eyes, she would. She's a bit, she's a bit tired. It's been a busy day for her. Her 12 hours of napping was interrupted by a hike. 